Hello y'all, my name is Evie and I'm going to show you guys today how to make some irresistible pumpkin cookies. This is my very own recipe that I created through lots of trial and error with my kiddos and testing and tasting everything. This is a family favorite and they can't ever get enough of them. You're gonna start off with preheating your oven to 300 degrees. And from there, you are going to start putting your ingredients into your mixer. So you're gonna add your butter into the bowl. And once you do that, you will go ahead and you're gonna turn on the mixer. Just a little reminder, with the butter, you wanna make sure that you um, leave it out on the counter for a bit because you don't wanna put cold butter in there. It doesn't mix very well. So you're gonna to wanna to definitely leave it to room temperature. And then you're gonna go ahead and start it. When you go ahead and you mix, you wanna start with a low setting first. Then you're going to turn it up to a higher setting so that it beats it really well and it creams it. Now that my butter is completely softened and it's creamed in the mixer, I'm gonna add my sugar. You're gonna need a one cup of sugar. So I'm only using a half a cup and I'm gonna use it twice. Now I'm going to just scrape the sides and so that all the butter that is down there will be combined together. And then once again, you're gonna turn it on until it's fully combined. All right, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do now that your sugar and your butter are creamed together, you're gonna to wanna to get your teaspoon out and you're going to combine the baking soda and your baking powder. And with these, you're gonna do, you're gonna have one of each. So super simple, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of the baking soda. From there, the next thing that you're going to put in is the pumpkin spice. This stuff is super yummy. I personally use um, Mountain Rose Herbs. Their product is fantastic. And again, with the pumpkin spice, you're gonna add three teaspoons of Again, mix everything together. Always keep in mind that when you look down in the bowl and if you see that there's stuff on the side, you wanna scrape it off so it's all combined. Next thing you're gonna wanna do, once all those are combined, you're gonna add your one egg in. I personally use, we have chickens at home. So I use the grass-fed farm fresh eggs. Just gonna wanna crack that and dump that into the bowl. And again, you are going to grab your teaspoon and you're going to, I have mine already pre-measured up, but you're gonna wanna add one teaspoon of vanilla in. Also keep in mind with any of the ingredients you're using, um, you're gonna wanna use high quality ingredients for those, that flavorful taste. I use vanilla extract that is pure and doesn't have any alcohol in it. After those ingredients have been combined, you're gonna add your pumpkin in. Once you have put your pumpkin into the bowl, you are going to, again, mix it for about 30 seconds until it's fully combined. Before you add the flour, again, make sure the sides are all scraped and everything is combined. And then you will add your two and a half cups of flour. I personally use um, the it's all purpose flour and I use the unbleached kind. Again, if you know me, it's organic. And you're going to put two and a half cups Once the flour is fully combined in the cookies, you're going to go ahead and pull them off and get ready to put them on the tray. All right, ready to place these onto the tray. I am using a three quarter sheet pan that is buttered down so that they don't stick. You can use a teaspoon if you would like to drop them onto the tray. I use a ice cream scooper because it's super handy. And I will just 
go ahead and scoop them out and you want to place them about two inches from each other. That way when they bake, they don't go together. All right, now that I have all my cookies onto my tray, I'm gonna pop them in the oven. All right, guys, I'm gonna check if mine are done. They've been in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. You wanna make sure that the tops are finished. So if the tops are done, you're good to go. You can pull them out. Each oven is different. Some may take 10, some may take 15. They're all done and they smell delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop them off the tray and place them onto my cooling rack. Okay. Time to make frosting for your cookies. We're gonna start with a fourth a cup of butter and put it into the mixer for 30 seconds. Now that I've added my half a cup of sugar, I'm gonna go ahead and cream the sugar and the butter together. Like with your cookies, when you're making the batter, same thing with the frosting. Always remember to scrape the sides of the mixer. Now that my sugar and my butter is creamed together, I'm gonna add my half a teaspoon of vanilla, along with eight ounces of cream cheese. My frosting is finished. I'm gonna taste it, make sure it tastes great before I frost my cookies. Mmm, that's delicious. I love me some cream cheese. I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon to make them all nice and pretty. My cookies are done and I can't wait to share them with my kiddos. They love them. They're such a big hit in our house. All our ingredients that we use, we use in its purest form. We also do a lot of gluten-free and vegetarian meals in our house. So if you really wanna try these pumpkin cookies, I have the recipe that is gluten-free and vegetarian on my website.